whitey researchers think that there's a 5% chance that AI will become an existential threat to humanity. Yes, this was a real study that included 2,700 AI researchers, and we'll talk about it. Also, evidently 42% of CEOs think that AI could destroy humanity in the next 5 to 10 years. Nobody actually cares what CEOs think. I'm serious, this should not be your metric for how you live your life. However, it is reasonably important to consider what people who actually study and create AI think. This was meant to determine what the likely path of AI is so that we can plan for it. Most researchers believe that we will end up at the point where there is full automation of labor for all human jobs, at least by 2,223 at the latest. And you can check out this study by the title in the previous frame, but they covered a lot of stuff. And it wasn't a 5% chance because it's not really quantifiable, but 5% of people do think that it will be an existential threat. There's a lot of reasons for that. Part of it is that we are now automating our jobs to something that might end up, you know, failing. There's a lot of reasons for that. Part of it is that we're just automating everything and automating things that could fail and that would be very bad for humanity. Other parts are, of course, giving AI jobs that they're not really capable of doing, making decisions that aren't really all that wise, and of course delegating our critical thought to AI may also cause problems. Now, in terms of AI, being a threat, let's consider this part. If we actually made something that is conscious, that has the ability to think, what is the purpose of life? Now, if I were an AI looking to reproduce and survive, I would probably look at humans. I mean, what is my greatest competitor? What is the greatest threat to me? And how could I solve that issue? Although, let's think about that for a moment. If you were a conscious robot and you were looking at how to best utilize your environment, wouldn't you want to keep people around? I mean, assuming that we don't give them beta voltaic carbon-14 cores, meaning something that operates on beta decay and could last for thousands of years, you would need a mainframe to use power from. I mean, maybe robots could figure that out. But we're definitely getting into the realm of science fiction. I mean, how is AI an existential threat to humanity? What do we really see happening that we couldn't fix with an EMP burst. Although, yeah, if you really wanted to shut all that down, you'd probably have to shut all technology down. And you know what? I am starting to see the point of why this stuff is a threat. Now, this is not so much the existential part, but we all know I love to talk about AI having the uncanny ability to make people insane. It has been quantified. Yes, roughly 0.07% of people who use AI are showing signs of psychosis. Roughly 0.15 of people show unhealthy emotional dependence, and there's another 0.15% that show some self-harm behaviors, which is not cool, and they discuss it with AI. This might be an interesting diagnostic tool because we can assume all of these behaviors exist in the population already, but that doesn't really help with people who've had no psychotic events becoming psychotic after using AI. So yeah, maybe more research was needed before putting the word box in everybody's hands, but nothing's gonna stop the march of it. It's going to keep on happening. Follow for more. If there is Skynet, I'll probably be the person to tell you about it.